In today's Money Monday, could paying off your mortgage be a mistake? That is the question we are putting to our resident money man, Kyle Winkfield of Finley Alexander Wealth Management. How are you? I'm doing well, favorite topic. I, you know what, I've asked you this before, but I'm glad that we have you here now because you can walk me through the steps because for me, I would just love just to pay off the house. That would make me feel good. But you're saying that might not be the best way to do it. Well, I'm going to put it this way. I think everyone should have their home paid for. Yes. Now, paying off a mortgage is an emotional decision, right? It's like it's like it's a nuclear. So some people think you should do it. Don't go into retirement with a mortgage. Or some people mm -hmm. say, oh, actually, absolutely, Kyle. I think I should because mortgage rates right now are so cheap. I'm not going to just take cash and do that. Mm -hmm. And I, I've decided to be able to help you and everyone else watching okay. think about it in, in, in a different light and think who is in control of one of your largest assets, the equity in your house, okay? okay? So let's say you have two boxes. One box is gonna pay you zero, the other box is gonna pay you a percentage and you have money and you have to make a choice which box are you gonna put the money in, the one with the percentage or the one with the zero? I'm gonna wanna take the percentage. Correct, no one ever gets something <laughs> wrong and I don't ask quick, uh, trick questions. I want more money, Okay. Yes. <laughs> so now, is there anything I can do to convince you to take that money out of the percentage box and put it in the zero box? No, because I want my money. Okay, so watch this. <laughs> I'm no artist, but that right there yes. looks like what? A house. A house. Yeah. Yes, got it. Okay, so that's what you're, so the idea of not paying off your mortgage, what is it? I mean, just break it down and lay persons. Okay. So this is what's going on. Who's going to be in control of that equity? Because everyone thinks, okay, I'm going to pay off the house, but the equity gets what rate of return? Zero, Got right? Yes. Your house will appreciate or depreciate regardless of the mortgage you have against it, right? It, Equity yeah. is a condition of what someone is willing to pay for your house today versus what you owe on it. And we're all seeing that right now. It's a little crazy. Right. Yes. Okay. But we all remember when the, the real estate market went poop yes. and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm underwater. So here's... <laughs> So hey, my, 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 my commentary on that is, hey, look, you're only underwater if you've got to leave that day, right? So my point is, mm -hmm. if you pay off the house and now all the money's sitting in the walls of your house because you paid it off, you have equity, mm -hmm. what do you have to do in order to get access to that equity? You've got to do one of two things, right? What's the first thing people would do? They would sell it or rent it. Right. And then I would yeah. say to you, well, don't you need a place to live? Right. right. Okay. So yeah. then they would say, hmm, maybe I'll refinance it. Then I'd back up and say, well, then you just get rid of the mortgage. But when you're refinancing, what exactly are you doing? You're filling out a mortgage application and you're asking permission from which entity for access to what you believe mm -hmm. is your asset. You're asking the bank yes. for permission. Who has the final say on whether or not you get the mortgage? The bank. The so bank. now you've tied up your money in a way that you can't even access it. Correct. It makes or it difficult. Or you can. It's just going to take several steps. It's going to be difficult because a lot of people think that a mortgage yes. is a loan against their property. I'm like, well, it's a loan against your income. So if you have yes. no income, it's going to be rather difficult to get access to that equity and use it. So my point is put yourself in a place where you have control yes. and that money is growing. So at any point in time, if you wanted to, you could write a check and pay off the bank and then own right. the house outright. Right. But you've got control over that. Correct. Okay. All right. You sold me. I'll come along to your side. If someone else is watching and they've been sold as well, how do they get in touch with you? You can go to FinleyAlexander.com and I actually have a, a little report I wrote called Six Reasons that To Have a Mortgage, mm -hmm. regardless of whether you're working or in retirement. And guess what? Number six is mortgage interest deduction. So there are five other very powerful wealth building reasons why one might want to consider maintaining a mortgage. All right. Kyle Wingfield, always so insightful. We really appreciate you being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.